it, literally like a video game. It, it's 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 almost fantasy what we what we're watching. It, and I and I was talking to Bob. I know Elizabeth interviewed him. I talked to Bob for a good 10, 15 minutes earlier, and I was trying to get a feel for it. And, and Elizabeth touched upon it. The, the, the comparison between the goat, the goat, Michael Phelps. And he said they're very similar in many ways, and he really put the nail on the head when he said consistency. They're both at their top, at their peak. They've always been consistent. Well, he's six tenths of a second under his NCAA uh, record and, from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the first 50. It, 147.6. I would not be surprised if he went 145. How about that? I would not be surprised. He's going 146, but I would not be surprised. 50.6. God, 50.6 on the way out. An utter explosion of Rowdy Gaines' head to my right <laughs> on that number. He, he's almost a full <laughs> second ahead of record pace. And he really backed off this morning, and there he goes. 117, 118, four, exactly a second ahead of record pace. So he's going 146 unless the piano, after all this swimming, drops on his back. It is McHugh and Corbeau in the race for second, but all eyes are fixed on lane four once again. Arizona State sophomore Leon Marchand chasing his own NCAA record. Will he set another? How of course he will. Of course. 146.91. First ever sub 147 in a muted NCAA record celebration for Marshawn. These are becoming ordinary, but they're extraordinary. Look at Bob. <laughs> Look at Bob. He doesn't even know what to do. I mean, we're all in a bit of a state of shock here with these swims. Like I said, 45 years I've been coming to this meet. Natalie Coughlin comes to mind. Pablo Morales, Brian Goodell, uh, Kate Douglas last weekend. I, but nobody has ever done, in my years, I don't know about 30s, 40s, and you know, <laughs> way back then, but nobody has done what this young man has done in a single NC2A championship. I just, well, like I think Elizabeth said it earlier, I am just speaking. Unbelievable. There are the official results, and yet another NCAA record. Third of this meet individually for Marshawn on his third national championship, and he is on the deck yet again with Elizabeth. Leon, this is becoming routine. Another historic swim for you. I had a chance to talk to Bob before the race, and he said that you had something special for us tonight. What was the race strategy and the goal coming into this Turner breaststroke tonight? I was just trying to go as fast as, as I could on each lap, trying to touch the wall as fast as possible, and then just try to survive until the end. But <laughs> I think it worked out. Can you describe how much fun this weekend has been for you, putting down these historic swims race after race after race? That was so much fun. Actually, maybe the most fun I've ever had. Uh, I think it's because I'm part of this team, ASU. I'm just grateful for that and all we did this, this week. So. If you could pick out a special moment, whether it was a race or a moment with a teammate from this weekend, what would that be? I think it was the 4 a.m. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. <laughs> I think so too. Congratulations, Leon. You're amazing.